This is Newsbreak 26 in Southwest New Brunswick. I'm Vicki Hogarth. Here's what's happening in our part of the world. With COVID-19 cases and deaths on the rise during New Brunswick's fourth wave of the pandemic, Premier Blaine Higgs and Chief Medical Officer of New Brunswick, Dr. Jennifer Russell, announced new restrictions for the province at a press conference on Tuesday. We have seen an unprecedented number of deaths, hospitalizations and ICU admissions over the last month more than at any time since the pandemic began. New Brunswick has also seen record numbers of new cases and active cases. We had expected more cases after the mandatory order was lifted in July. And again, we, we made reference to that uh, in uh, many of the uh, announcements and uh, media interviews. Government has already taken steps to slow the spread of COVID-19, including the reinstatement of the state of emergency and mandatory order. But with our healthcare system under significant strain and Thanksgiving holiday approaching, more actions are needed to protect the health and safety of New Brunswickers. Thanksgiving gatherings across all health zones in New Brunswick are now limited to single households. Traditionally, Thanksgiving weekend is a time that people gather with family and friends. Social gathering of unvaccinated New Brunswickers is driving our current situation. That is why we are requiring all New Brunswickers to limit contacts to single household close town contacts for both private indoor and outdoor gatherings beginning on Friday at 6 p.m. through until Monday at 11.59 p.m. This includes home gatherings, both inside and outside, as well as playgrounds, skate parks, parks and other places people gather. New Brunswick will also implement a 14-day COVID-19 circuit breaker starting on Friday in parts of the province experiencing more widespread outbreaks of the virus. Residents of parts of Zone 1, Zone 3 and all of Zone 4 must limit their contact to their single households. Businesses can remain open in these areas, but non-essential travel to and from circuit breaker zones is forbidden. The circuit breaker will last for at least two weeks. Premier Higgs also announced a new mandatory vaccination policy for certain employment sectors. We will be implementing a mandatory vaccination requirement for parts 1, 2, 3 and 4 of the provincial government as well as those for those working in long-term care and early childhood sectors. The only employees this will not apply to are those with valid medical exemptions. The deadline for people to be fully vaccinated is November 19th. If you choose not to get fully vaccinated before the deadline, you will be on leave without pay. New Brunswick is also introducing rapid testing in schools starting October 12th to use on unvaccinated students who are close contacts of positive cases. Students requiring rapid tests will be allowed to return to school after two negative tests, provided they have no COVID-19 symptoms. Finally, September 30th marked the first National Day for Truth and Reconciliation in Canada. In St. Andrews, hundreds of people from the town of just 1,800 residents gathered around a drum circle at the point to participate in a smudging ceremony organized by Kate Akaji and Judith Moses. Many of the participants wore orange shirts to pay tribute to First Nations children who lost their lives, as well as those who survived the residential school system. It's, it's something that's near and, and dear to, to my heart as an Indigenous person. We've been waiting for this day for a long time. Uh, the acknowledgement of what had happened in the past and to put it in the public conscience. And when we looked out, when I, we had counted before we started, we had a little over, I think, almost close to 100 people. And Judith and I both think there was more than 100 people, like it, it could have been 200 people here today. And it was just, as you say, a sea of orange, which is what I asked for. And I, I thank the Creator and, and everybody in our town for coming out to this to this memorial. That's all the news I have for you. For more stories and live streamed COVID-19 updates for New Brunswick, follow us on Facebook at chco.tv. This has been a news and public affairs production of CHCO-TV, New Brunswick's only source for independent community television.